What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a dolly shot effect or vertigo effect in Vegas Pro 14. Now for those that don't know what a dolly shot or a vertigo shot is, it's basically when the camera is physically moving away or towards the subject while zooming in or out, changing the focal length of the lens. Now vertigo shots have been around for a while and it goes all the way back to 1958 where the first film actually used the effect known as vertigo. So to do this effect, it is very simple to do. Now the video you saw at the start is this one right here. You can see this is the raw footage and it is completely normal. So the way we're doing this is just with the event pattern crop. So we're gonna select this button here. Now, what you wanna do is find out how long you want this to work. So this clip right here is um, seven seconds or eight seconds. Now I'm gonna come across to five seconds and that is where I want it to end the effect. So right here, I'm going to press the keyframe button to lay it down and I'm gonna leave this as it is. But for this keyframe, I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna select slow. Now for the first keyframe, we're gonna right click it and we're gonna select smooth. And on top of that, what you wanna do is make sure lock aspect ratio is checked, you wanna make sure size about center is checked and you simply wanna zoom in. Now you don't want to zoom in too much simply because the quality of the video will drop as you'll see. So pick a size which is good for you where the quality isn't bad and I'm going to leave mine like that. And this is now all set, believe it or not, that is done. So I'm going to play it through and as you'll see, that is what it looks like. Vertigo, dolly shot, that is how simple it is to create. Now one more thing I'm going to add on. Uh, which is completely optional. I'm going to head over to video effects. If you don't see it, then come over to view windows layout and select default layout. From video effects, I'm coming down to radial blur and I'm going to be dragging on strong proportional. Now I'm going to drag and drop this onto the clip. As you'll see, this is the effect it'll give us. Now, don't worry, we're going to fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn this down to about 450. There we go. And I'm also going to change a type here to fixed radius. And then I'm going to toggle the animation for the strength. And then I'm going to come across to the part where this ends and it's at five seconds around there. And what I'm going to do is turn the strength all the way down. Now you'll see this is the difference it has now created. So playing it through, it just adds some motion blur to the clip itself. And that's what it does. Now, another thing you can do for these keyframes. So the first one, um, what we can do if I come down here, right click it the first one is going to be a smooth fade and the last one is going to be a slow fade there we go and then this is the final thing completed just like that now like i said that that is optional you can choose to add it and of course the settings i showed you you don't need to use it you can adjust the settings to how you want it to look but that's it for this tutorial, I hope this has been useful for you, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.